So a lot of good things going on with this team, Scott, but some question marks as they head towards this postseason push, and, and that is the injury concerns of Julius Randle and OG Ananobi. Uh, from a Julius standpoint, it's you know he's yet to be cleared for physical contact. What do you think about that right now as, as they head towards the postseason? It, do you think, you know, does he need time to ramp up here? Or is this a situation with this injury where hey, this might be a day one of playoffs type of thing? Yeah. No, I'm very concerned as it relates to Julius. I have not spoken to him in a while, but just, you know, knowing Julius, you know, obviously being there when we first brought him to New York, I have a good feel for kind of who he is and what makes him tick. And I take you back to the reason why I'm concerned I take you back to last year when he was having a terrific season last year and then he got hurt about five games uh, with five games left in yeah. the regular season. And so when he came back in the playoffs, he never never was able to regain the same rhythm right. that he had. And Julius is a rhythm player. Even at the start of this season here, because he was out all summer rehabbing from the surgery that he had, he didn't have the time for his normal uh, workouts and the, the way he prepares for NBA seasons, which is important to him, which had normally allowed him to start the season off a lot faster. Whereas you recall this year and Knicks fans were getting impatient with him in the first couple yeah, of weeks yeah. because he struggled so hard, Yeah, because, but he didn't have the timing and the rhythm. So mm -hmm. now to ask him to have, he's been out what almost a couple months now Yeah, to just, throw him in the playoff basketball. And the reason why, as another reason why he needs time, Julius is a ball dominant player. And so when you have a guy who needs the ball in his hands to be able to create for himself, not only does he need that time to figure out, you know, his place again on the court, mm. the guys who are playing with him now have to get used to another guy who has the ball in his hands right. a lot. Jalen Brunson, is a ball dominant player as well too. So now you have two of them on the floor when they're there together. And now that, that makes the other three guys really more, more spacers and, and cutters to the, to the basket. So there's a lot going on there from a chemistry aspect that gives me a lot more concern versus OG Ananobi, right. who is more space the floor. You know, you, you spot him up in the corner to shoot threes. He's good at cutting to the basket. He's a guy who can play without the basketball on the offensive end, so may not need as much time to to you know really assimilate himself back uh, to the group. With Julius and the injury, have have you ever had just as a as a uh, front office executive or even from your coaching days, have you ever seen a scenario where a player is trying to come back from a dislocation and you know has been able to be? you know, be maybe 80% of himself and in, in, in crucial moments? I've seen, you know, not, I haven't worked any, with anybody in terms of the shoulder. I've seen mm. guys on other teams that have had the shoulder issue. And, and here's another concern with that, especially for a physical player like Julius Randle. It's his right shoulder, I believe. He's a left-handed player. So he when he drives to that basket and Julius is – very physical in right. dishing out contact with that right shoulder to create necessary space to get a shot off. Now, you know, you wonder again, is the shoulder going to be strong enough to take that kind of pounding? Yeah. You know, time and time again for him to be the fully effective player he, he could be without, you know, further damaging his, the shoulder. So uh, mm. again, that is, that is a concerning issue for a player who plays his style of play. Now, if he was a guy who was pretty much perimeter based and not that physical of a player, maybe you can get away with it a little right. better. That that's why I think this changes the game. Because he, the way he was playing this year before he left was as that physical get downhill, attack the basket, get to the free throw line, create off of those drives, you know, when the doubles are coming. And he was doing so well. The chemistry yes. with he and Brunson was was uh, improving. And so I just feel like, you know, it's going to change his game completely. Yeah, th that's the best version of Julius Randle. Best version. He's attacking that basket because, look, defenders do not like feeling that physicality over a 48-minute game. There's very few that, will, that do like that. 
So now if you take that away from him or he feels like he has to shy away from that to not further injure himself, then you're not getting the same level of player and level of play that's necessary for this team to go make a very deep run in the playoffs, which they're very capable of making. <laughs> 